Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Murdered Soul Suspect. This is a new release from Square Enix, and it is for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and through Steam on PC. So this game is very different from what we are traditionally used to. This game is about a detective. Detective that goes by the name of Ronan O'Connor and he's dead. He's been murdered. He's a detective and he was looking for a serial killer. Then the serial killer found him, threw him out of a window, and shot him seven times in the chest and killed him. And basically, when he goes into the afterlife, he realizes that he can't be with the love of his life because he has unresolved issues regarding his death. So in order for him to completely free his soul and live peacefully in the afterlife, he has to uncover that last mystery uh, regarding his death and why the serial killer is doing what he's doing. And once he resolves that, he can die happily ever after, I guess. So this game has been drawing some comparisons from the likes of L.A. Noir and Heavy Rain. Um, because this is not a game that you're going around, you're a ghost. You don't have weapons, you're not, it's not anything that's fast paced. Uh, but I would compare this more towards L.A. Noir than Heavy Rain. Because Heavy Rain was, it had more action. It was a lot of quick time events, but it was a, it was a lot of action uh, in that game. And in this game, it's, it's very, it's very, de you're a detective, so you're going to be going around and you're going to be trying to solve mystery regarding your own death in the serial killer, but you're also going to be helping out other dead people as well so that they can resolve their problems and move on to the afterlife as well. So this is one of the things that makes this game unique. Check out Ronan. He's completely transparent. And as a ghost, you can do ghostly things like walk through walls. You can't walk through every wall. Like if I try to go over here, you see, I can't pass through this wall because this is in Salem, Massachusetts. And you remember like the whole thing with Salem witch trials and all that stuff? Well, there's certain uh, parts of this, of this world that is sort of protected, protected from ghostly people like us. So we, that's the excuse of why you can't pass through every single wall that you see. All right, so let's get started. Let's just walk around and try to solve uh, some mysteries here. Now, you see those people right there? They're dead. There's some people that you can communicate with uh, as their spirits, but in the case of these people, when I get close, they're just going to kind of fade out. But there are other people that you can interact with. Now, I got some options. As a ghost, I can choose to possess people. So when I hit R2, and I possess this guy. See, I got these options to read his mind. Depossess basically just means to leave. I'll repossess him. And then if I ever have the option, I can influence his 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 words, his actions, or I can take a look at something that he is looking at. I can't control him. I can't move him. So let's read his mind. Out of it. And all he has to say is keep emotion out. I'm going to possess his buddy. Read his mind. So the police department is kind of on edge because the serial killer is out and about and no one has any idea. Uh, they don't have any leads on him. And Rowan, Ronan here was a cop, so you know the guy's a cop killer now. So now they're all a little bit worried. You can poltergeist stuff, which basically means that you can make things happen. And sometimes it'll cause uh, one of these NPCs to react to it, and sometimes it won't. But now we just kind of have to go around and figure out a mystery. If I hit the, I'm playing this on PlayStation 4 if I didn't mention it, and I hit the uh, the touchpad button, and you know these are just some of the clues that I can take a look at and side cases, things that you find in the environment. Um, but uh, right now I am just trying to find the witness that is in the holding cell. So this is the last hint that I had regarding my main mission. It says the guy who gunned me down in cold blood, is he my unfinished business? It's like, yes. So what I have to do now is find the holding cell. And if I don't, you know, I, if I don't solve this mystery, I'll just be stuck here in limbo. So this is a game that you're not going to rush through. You're just going to kind of take your time. And it may come off as boring to some people. But I personally like this stuff. So I get to read people's minds and see what they're thinking. Says Ronan should have waited, because apparently I didn't wait for backup. Girl in the room right now. 
think she knows this too what I know. Gentlemen, and then you just eavesdrop on this on this conversation that they're having. Here's something that I can collect. I go over here, or I can poltergeist things. But you can also collect things as well. That's not going to do anything. So, yeah. Just going to look around and try to find these these holding cells and uh, continue the story here. Uh, you don't just have to walk around. Uh, check it out. A Just Cause 2 poster. Because why wouldn't there be a Just Cause 2 poster inside of a police station? That's what I'm saying. So yeah, anyway, you don't just have to walk. You have this sort of light jog going on here. Here's something that you can collect. It just tell you a little something about the history of Salem, Massachusetts. And whoa, you see those people there? Now here's another thing. If I hold R1, you see like those little spirity looking things? There isn't there are enemies that you fight in this game. They're demons. And these demons are just they used to be people just like you. They used to be people who were you know spirits wandering and they've completely given up so their whole thing now is to consume souls those are the people that you those are the things that you have to sort of uh look out for and i just found myself a gun if i find seven more of these i can uncover a story that is unique to this police station you don't have to do that but i find the stories to be interesting all right so let's just walk through here each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes. And it would probably help me find my mom. But as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Baxter. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. All right. Now, the reason why she can talk to him is because she's a medium, so she can see spirits and talk to spirits. So that's why that happened. All right. Let's poltergeist this camera, and and I have completely poltergeisted it. it. All right. So she's making her way out. So I'm guessing right now I'm probably just gonna have to distract them through poltergeist oh, methods. Get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. He's the king. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low, or they'll see you. All right. So it's kind of like escort missions, but you know, where'd she go anyway? I mean, I need to know where she is so she can. Okay, there she is right there. All right, so I am going to... I don't think possessing this guy is going to do anything. This night stays quiet. Nah. All right, I'm going to have to poltergeist some stuff. What can I... put? What's that? That's not it. What can I poltergeist? Possession. I, used, I saw a bunch of these things before. Okay, check out this pop machine right here. I'm gonna go. Go easy. Gonna do that. All right, and now she's gonna start sneaking. And then I'm gonna poltergeist this. This is the first time that this has happened in the game where I just kind of had to do these poltergeisty things. The option to do them was always there, but it really was of no consequence to it to what was actually happening in the game. Okay, that does not bother him at all. I need to get this guy out of the way. Somehow. <clears throat> oh, something to collect. 
info about the killer. All right, let's see. The, the rocks in her pockets could point to suicide or dare by classmates. There's no evidence of violence and no current suspects. You know, so these this is all the info that I have on the serial killer. You can just go back and, and look at that stuff and get a better idea of uh, who this guy could be. Uh, we know that I did this already. We know that he's a white male with blue eyes. Well, he's supposedly a white male with blue eyes. Think. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, let's see what happens when I possess this guy. Read his mind. So fast. Mm, that's not helping. Let's possess him. Cops, gotta stick together. That's not helping either. Okay, how do I get her past? Cause that does not. Oh, this machine here. I didn't even see this. Okay. There we go. Did not on, see the copy free. machine that time. She's going to sneak, sneak, sneak her way. And she's done. I don't think there was really any way to fail that. Okay, now right here, I can't walk past this. Because this is like a demon hole thingy. It will hurt me. Nice job, kid. We're almost there. You need a cheerleader. Hey, I got us this far, didn't I? You got yourself killed, Mr. Bullet Holes. Uh, uh, hey, kid. I hate these things. Uh, I, I can't get across it. You're going to have to help me. Well, can't you just fly over it? Fly? I'm a ghost, not a plane, all right? And look, you need me to tell you which office is his. Duh. Don't read any of my thoughts. All right, so we got to get to the second right floor. Here. This doesn't make us even... I can possess her, but, you know, I can't do anything with her because she knows better. But since she can walk across the demon hole thingy without any okay, man. complications, she's my traveling buddy. I got this. All right, I'm hoping that before we end this video, I can actually show you some of the investigations, the detective work that you're... Uh, going to actually be doing instead of this kind of Why walking around and uh, talk? possessing I people. Thought Salem PD would be a safe job. You thought wrong, buddy. You thought wrong. All right, we're gonna distraction. All right, we'll get him out of the way. But it looks like he's just gonna come right back. Oh, ooh, there's a lot of stuff in here to collect. There are no demons around. All right, let's just collect some stuff. I'll check all this other stuff later. Uh, info about the killer. Healed her, buddy. That sickness she carried in her brain, you made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Rex is Ronan's uh, brother-in-law. So that's why he's... He is uh, very attached to this particular story. Julia is Ronan's uh, wife, who is also dead, and she just kind of fills in the uh, backstory. So I need to get both of these cops out of the way. I need to find a way to do that. I know I can get one of them out of the way but not the two of them. I just really love how you can <clears throat> how you can just walk through stuff like this. You know, it's like because if you were a ghost, this is what you would be doing. You would be walking through walls, you would be eavesdropping on people. It's just what you do. All right, so let me see. What if I What if I do this? And that's this guy. No. Hmm. Need to get. I'm wondering, like, he's distracted, but then he isn't. Which is weird. Closer 
you guys this. How about I hold you guys that? There we go. And I can get both of them out of the way. Good. That was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Also, the reason why he has all those tattoos and stuff on him is because uh, he was pretty much a criminal for the majority of his life. And, you know, when he met the, met the love of his life, he kind of turned this stuff around, became a detective. He's a very good detective because he was also a criminal. Are you trying each of those to tattoos kind of just symbolizes his, uh, each one of his criminal activities he's been pinched for. Hide a book in one tiny little room. Who knows? Okay, so this is pretty interesting. You kind of have to use these poltergeisty sound. Well, you have to use these sounds to actually know what's going on. I have to listen closely. Hang on. Sounds like water. making these sounds I don't know you get three chances to get it right or get it wrong the sounds seem like it came from a camera all right so it has to be the mugshot I real did not hear the camera. Now I have proof. Which is weird because I'm like so into cameras and I didn't, I didn't know. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure that book will find itself. Alright, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. Just need to figure this out. All right, so here's a little mystery we have to solve. Need to find the witness's mother's book. And you see there's one out of 10 clues and it's just in that office. So it really helps you out to know that you don't have to walk around this entire area looking for stuff. Everything that you need to find is here in this room. You just kind of have to look around and inspect things. So that says bragging. Uh, you don't have to always check into greater detail what the things are that you find. But, you know, I just kind of, I, I just like doing that because I like these mystery things. So that's a ticket out of town, which says, why would he leave town? Uh, what else we got here? Terrors of 1692, Salem's Disgrace. Baxter's been reading about Salem's history. Doesn't seem like something he would care about. There's something on the floor. The form of each murder changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. Four out of ten clues. Here's another picture to inspect. Academy class photo. 
and this is a commendation little notes on the wall I guess I can't look at those here's a new message on his phone which says someone left a message on his voicemail hey can you check that voicemail message uh yeah I'll try to check the voicemail message Baxter I told you you're off the case now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office now Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. All right, that helps. That helps. He hid the book. We just need to find out where. So we look all around. There's two more clues to find. What caused that mark on the wall? Um, hmm. Let me take a look at these clues. Uh, that's the academy, his promotion, his ticket, bowling trophy, Rex prevented Baxter from uh, blackmailing me and using my criminal record against me. What caused the marks on the wall? Um, Alright, well, I'm going to say matches gun rack. gun rack so writing drawn shadow what? I'm a little bit confused usually it's a lot more straightforward than this so I guess that means it's getting a little bit more difficult uh, hmm. you can zoom in press like R3 Shadow, say stain. All right, got a new clue. The gun rack actually opens on hinges, like it's covering a secret compartment or an area. All right, so I guess I did that correctly. It's a hidden lever. All right, so I better tell the girl. Let's see if we can ask her to open this for it. me. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, crap. Wait, what is that? What'd they find? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! Alright, it's the gala invitation. A Salem History Museum gala flyer. Why would that be in her book? All right, so we gotta do this again. Uh, 
SOP stays put. I want to collect this. And after I stop this video, you know, I'm just going to go around and I'm going to try to collect all this other stuff because I, I really want to know about like the history of uh, everything that's going on around here. What's going on in Salem, different murder mysteries and whatnot that, that occur. Hmm. Does not seem to be getting his attention. How about this? That's not getting his attention either. Uh, is it the old? That's the scene of react to printers. The phone rings and the cops are like, eh, I don't need to answer that. But the printer goes haywire. And suddenly everyone wants to investigate. See, look at those people, you know, they look like old timey people who've probably lived so long ago. Right, we need to do some more distracting, I suppose. Oh, is there a camera around? Maybe I should just talk to her. Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop, you need to avoid. Right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What's your way to do with Danny? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch it. Hey, uh, you know, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, Ron, he was, uh, he was top notch. He wore his badge of honor. Some reason to trample on his grave. He wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? He thought it would make our thoughts. So even though you know this video has gone on for almost a half hour and it really doesn't feel like or really done too much of anything, you know what? but I that's just the nature I know a lot of, the of this game. I mean, not, 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 not responding. That's just the nature of this game, Murder Soul Suspect. And you know, even if you can't really, really tell from the way that the video is working right now, I'm actually really enjoying this game. Uh, because I like these murder mysteries and I like being able to hear people and unfortunately we didn't run into a person who needed to help uh, guide them in order to uh, have them have a very happy afterlife. This is one guy who was all torn up over a drunk driving accident that I had to prove whether or not it was actually him who did it. Everything we know about the case and so at one point I had to help a lady figure out where her body was oh, so that I she could rest yourself. in so, peace. Yeah. You keep and to do you know, I, I just really enjoy killed. this stuff. So this game oh, is 60 bucks. Oh, you won. It's 60 dollars. It is a fully it's a full price game. Um, and I don't know how long it lasts. Uh, I've seen some people say this game lasts somewhere between five to seven hours. Perhaps longer if you are doing like I'm doing and just kind of looking at every single thing. But I'm going to stop right here because um, I'm starting to get a little bit confused on what's going on since I have to make the video and play the game at the same time. But this is very unique. Basically, if you can, if you, if you don't really need a lot of bang bang action action, you just want to take your time and just engage in a very meticulous detective oriented game that you know admittedly it's not something that we get uh, often then in my experience so far murder soul suspect is a fun game an interesting game a refreshing game to have whether or not you want to spend 60 bucks on it i don't know but definitely if you can find it at a discount for right now i can say that i will recommend this i enjoy it so thanks so much for watching this until next time i'm jeremy and i will see you later